Uh, I made a trip to Meadow Lake today to uh, speak with blind golfer Jerry Nelson and his coach Chris Villeneuve and we did that here at Kingdom Golf owned by Dwight King of course two-time Stanley Cup winner. Uh, so congratulations in order for your family as well. So uh, Sask Hockey just announced you guys are going to go into Sask Hockey Hall of Fame a big event coming up here. Um, before we talk about the golf congratulations on that and you know it's a nice honor hey. Yeah no it was, it was great obviously a little bit of surprise I wasn't totally familiar with the, the process there but um it's something we grew up in as the game of hockey and, and uh, giving back now that we're we're older and kind of out of it and uh, the next generation of our families has taken over so um, we look forward to still continue to give back to the youth and giving them the opportunity to learn from from our experiences and and obviously the awards just a nice token on top for sure so we're, we're golf obviously we're going to talk about the kingdom um you know once you retired from the nhl you probably could have went anywhere you know hockey players are known to give them back to their roots and sticking close to home was that the whole idea to, to bring the kingdom back to meadow lake yeah um like you said once once you get a little older and you you grow up for myself here around family and how important that is to develop a, a person and and now that i have three kids of my own um my wife and i kind of talked and figured that a place where you can have a little bit of comfort and support is is a big part of growing up and obviously uh, we've lived in different markets in different cities and, and got a feel of of the biggest cities to to down here where it's quiet and things are accessible and um, I think it just fit our personalities and obviously the opportunity to bring a small business it's, it's made it a lot easier um, there's a ton of options here in northern Saskatchewan so uh, me being the golf enthusiast enthusiasm it, uh, it was an easy transition yeah, hockey and golf they go hand in hand for like a lot of sports do but you know they're fitting for each other has golf always been a big part of your life uh not so much as a kid i was more of a, a cowboy um as you could tell where we live but uh the older you get like you said at hockey and golf um if you're gonna hang out with your buddies who are hockey players most times it's on a golf course so uh the passion grew the older i got uh, i played quite a bit my wife was was very generous with our time when i was playing at the highest level so I still manage to play a couple times a month, um, and then in the summer here, it's it's kind of was the big activity. It's it's a way to clear your mind and, and work a little bit on your mental game as far as uh, frustration and adversity uh, in different ways, obviously. But um, just something I enjoy, and hopefully, uh, my boy's getting a little older now, and hopefully, we can get him out there a little earlier than I started. Yeah, for sure. Maybe we'll see him on the NJ2 and it's some juniors in the future. Um, how has it gone since you opened uh, the Kingdom here? Uh, it's it's been good obviously with anything there's there's obviously learning that that comes with it um i'm very fortunate my wife has a commerce degree so as far as the business side of things she's she's kind of got a handle on on things and has really took over uh the business in that sense but as far as people and corresponding with people i think playing team sports it, it comes a little more natural um and then as much golf as i played it's it's i'm not a professional by any means or, or have schooling to teach but um, I think as long as you can communicate well, uh, people appreciate that, and that's kind of what I like to provide. Uh, so you're providing for Jerry. Um, he couldn't talk enough about you and what the kingdom has meant to him and Chris and the growth of his game as he gets ready for the for the U.S. Open uh, coming up in Georgia. What has it meant for you to you know connect with Jerry, meet Jerry, and just watch his growth over ever since you've opened the doors here? He said it was about a week off when he moved here, and and you all what and you opened. Yeah, no, it's it's obviously great to see his progression. Um, We've seen Jerry around here quite often, especially in the summer times with the uh, charity events. He's always a, a figure for that. So, um, like you said, he used to make the trip to. I guess he lived in Saskatoon, but he would have to make the trip to the to the golf dome. But uh, coming side, I think I think his conditioning is probably the biggest thing. Uh, I think his first time in, he just brought one or two clubs and and went maybe 15, 20 minutes and, and just got a feel of it. And then, as you can see with him and Chris, they've gradually grown. Um, figured out the yardages, their spin and everything. So it's it's exciting to see, and I think it's definitely helped uh, his results. If anybody sees this, uh, you know, maybe they're up in the area working or something brings them to Meadow Lake and, you know, the golf course here is an open or whatnot, what do you offer here? Um, I think it's the foresight programming, but just kind of tell us a little bit about the logistics of the kingdom. Yep, you're bang on there with uh, with the equipment we use. It's through foresight. Uh, we obviously have the, the Hawks, which are the, the ceiling mount ones for accessibility on both left and right-handed um, we have 50 courses on our on our computer here so you have an, an option and then like most people that are, are just looking to improve like Jerry you can go to the range and it'll give you all the statistics you want and far as spin and carry and launch angle and everything you need to to doctor your game a little bit um, but if, aside from the golf we, we are licensed in a, in a 
uh, for all ages, I should say. So you, you can have a, a little snack. We have a, a kind of a bar menu, uh, small kitchen. Uh, we offer that to any of the golfers and also do birthdays, just rental space in general. So we try to cater. Obviously, it's a small place. So uh, if people want to come in, we, we try to accommodate the best we can. Yeah, well, it's a Friday morning when I pulled up. I actually had to loop around, Dwight, because there's no place to park in front. Meadow Lake looked bustling yeah. on a Main Street on, on a Friday and a cold Friday here in February. Congratulations on all the success um, you know, up here in Meadow Lake, and thanks for uh, welcoming me here today. No, yeah, thanks for coming down, and we appreciate seeing you. And uh, the special on Jerry is, is nice for him to get a little bit of publicity.